Good morning, North Adams High. This is your senior class president, Marcus Randell, coming at you live from Principal Marin's office. It is 50 degrees on this lovely May morning with a high of 62. Now, our end of the school year countdown has begun with only 20 more school days left before the end of the year. Woo! Before we kick it off, though, we have a couple of quick announcements. I think I'm going to be sick. Do you think they'll actually announce it? If they do, everyone will know it was us who brought it up. So? What do you mean, so? Who cares? I do. Why? Well, what if we get on the news? Again, who cares? If we make the news, then Notre Dame could see it. Here we go. Notre Dame sees it and doesn't like that we either won or lost this whole thing, I could lose my scholarships. Uh, that's crazy. They're not going to take away I your scholarships. I lose my scholarships. I won't be able to get into my dream school. My dream school. I've been working for that my whole life. Danny, you're being... I don't have a backup plan. I don't have a purpose without Notre Dame. What am I gonna do, live in here forever? I don't know. Probably that grocery is at Whole Foods for the rest of your life. This isn't a joke, Gabby. Maybe I wasn't joking, Danny. I okay, can't. okay. I was. Don't get upset. I can't believe you talked me into this. Whoa, hey, when did this turn into my fault? You just had to be righteous. We couldn't just go to prom on separate tickets. We had to make a big old deal about this couple's tickets thing. Yeah, we did. Singles tickets, for whatever shit reason, are more expensive than couples tickets. Also, you have to buy it during your lunch period? We don't even have lunch together. Without getting a couple's ticket, we couldn't guarantee you'd be sitting at the same table. I I'm sorry, but that's just super messed up to me. How much time are we really even going to be at the table? It doesn't matter. It's still messed up. But did it matter so much that we had to send the entire town into an uproar? Don't be so dramatic. We did not. Oh, really? Actually. Tell that to my mom, who couldn't go into Taco Bell last night without someone stopping to comment or give her a little look. Do you remember a preschool teacher, Miss Annabelle? Uh, can't say I do. She pushed my mom out of line last night, made a really gross taco comment, and no one did anything. What was it? What? The taco comment. That's what you're getting out of this? Something about it's wrong for you to eat another girl's taco. Please, that is a weak sauce. Obviously, she's been hanging around preschoolers. That's not even a good burn. Gabrielle. This whole town being small-minded is not your fault, and it certainly isn't mine either. This town isn't ready for lesbians, Gabby. They have made that very clear. For the thousandth time, what happened to the Connors was a freak thing. A man burnt down their flower shop with Hope Connors inside. How can you call that a freak thing? The man was insane. He's locked up. Sure, but it's not like the whole town rallied behind her partner. On the contrary, a lot of them agreed with Pyro Guy. People used to whisper around town saying things like, serves them right, or they flaunt it, what do they expect? And where's Diana Connors now? Um, that, that doesn't Boston, Gabrielle. Diana had to move back to Boston with her mom and three cats because it isn't safe for her here. First of all, why do you know so much about Diana Connor? Can you be serious for just three seconds? I am being serious. Should I be jealous? Stop being such a jerk. I'm not kidding. This is real, Gabby. The consequences of our actions could really affect us or someone else. So what? Uh, just because people are terrible means we should hide who we are? I'm not saying that. Because I'm not doing that anymore, Danny. Gabby, Hope died. Like, she's dead, gone, never coming back. I just, I don't want the two. Oh, that's not going to happen to me, Danny. You don't know that, though. Danielle. I'm leaving you here in a few months, and I don't know what's going to happen to us or to you. If I come back and find out that you're gone, I, I couldn't live with myself. <laughs> I won't let that happen, Danielle. I'm sure Hope said the same thing. The world is changing, Danielle. We're going to be on the right side of history. Just wait. Gabby. Love burns brighter than hate. High schools across the country are allowing same-sex couples to go to prom on reasonably priced couples tickets. This place can't be that far behind, and 
if they are, well, they need something or someone to spark a change. Who would be better than us? Sounds more like a you. You're better at the social justice stuff than me. Finally, something I do better than you. I have something worth fighting for. Oh yeah? Yeah, us. Even when you're far away, this place will change for the better because of us. It will be us? It will always be us. And last but not least, with prom only a few days away, administration would like to remind you to get your tickets. They're not going to announce it. They might. Tickets are on sale during third, fourth, and fifth period lunch to all seniors. $75 for a single ticket, which includes one ticket and a seat in the dining room. Come on, Dorcas, bring us the good news. $75 for couples ticket, which includes one for you and one for your date, as well as two seats together in the dining room. Now, Principal Marin would like to set the record straight with students, faculty, staff, and parents. Mm. Couples tickets are to be sold to couples that are of male and female partnerships only. All other sales are void and will result in barring of entry to the prom. What? No, no, no way, no fucking way. Thanks again, North Adams High, and have the day you deserve. They can't do this. We lost? This has to be against some kind of law. I can't believe we lost. You guys can go in now. Hey, hey, Dorcas, this is complete you bullshit. Stop calling me that. Look, I know there's nothing I can do. You must have had some kind of sick. I, I did everything I could for you, Danny. I went to every student council meeting, every town council meeting, even the school board meetings. The parents, they made a huge deal about it, and that's all Principal Marin seemed to care about. That is so fucked up, Dorcas. You're the president of this school. I, I don't have final say. I I'm sorry. There has to be something else you can do. Thank you, Marcus, for trying. You know, I'm really surprised they wouldn't even make an exception for the school track star. That's a huge exaggeration. It is not. You have done so much for this school. They really should have recognized that. I'm sorry, you guys. I really tried. I guess that's it. No, no, this can't be it. We lost, Gabby. It's over. It's not over until I say it's over. Gabby. Principal Marlon, let's play hardball. We'll play hardball. Gabrielle. He'll pay for this. I will make sure he'll pay for this. We can watch him and the school burn, just like the flower shop. You, you can't be serious. You, you're not, right? Danielle, you heard what Dorcas said, right? We lost. This town hates us so much, they don't want to see us go to prom together. A rite of passage you've been looking forward to since, since I don't know, a, a long time. Yes, I've heard, and I'm devastated too, but you have to think it through. It's time for us to take an action, time for us to take a stand. Obviously, this town doesn't respect a peaceful, quiet stance. They need to see flames. We'll show them fucking flames. Gabrielle, no. This is what the town thinks of us, Danielle. They need to pay for what they stand for. Yes, I agree. But an eye for an eye isn't going to work. Like you said before, love burns brighter. Exactly. Love burns brighter. We love each other. They hate us. We need to show them in the only way they'll understand. We'll send a message this whole town can see. We will even do it on prom night. Gabrielle, stop! How much clear of a message will I need after that? Gabrielle, bringing down the whole school makes you just as bad as Pyro Guy. This is not the same thing. It is exactly the same thing. We'll be doing it for the right reasons. No, no we won't. It's like a circle of hate. Nothing's gonna change if we're stuck on a loop. But... No, we need to rise to the occasion, not stoop down to their level. Fuck the rule. Let's go to prom hand in hand. We'll dance and kiss and do every other thing everyone else gets to do. Let's be us. You can burn down 
a house or a city or a school, but you can't burn down the deal. We'll give them all we got. We'll be ourselves and make sure that that's the way the world sees you and me and all the other Hokans out there. Let's give them us. It will be us. It will always be us. <laughs>